Well, nine days since destructive winds passed through the tri-states and Quincy Parks are beginning to return to form. Following last week's storm, the Quincy Park District pledged its entire workforce to the city cleanup, leaving the parks untouched for a whole week. KHQA's David Amelotti joins us live from Madison Park in Quincy with more on how the Park District plans to tackle its own massive cleanup. David. Ross Raj, uh, executive director of the Quincy Park District Room for Eric's, tells me that South Park and Madison Park received the most damage, as you can tell by these roots, still out of the ground since last Monday. As of this afternoon, all parks are still closed with no locked in timetable for public use. 40 years ago, Champaign residents Linda and Ron Herman called Quincy home. Linda has fond memories of Madison Park as a child. Now she's overwhelmed by the damage. I used to. Uh walked by this park on my way home from Quincy High in the 60s down to my home on Main Street. And in front of my home on Main Street, the trees are all gone. Linda says getting the parks back open is crucial for the city's identity. Quincy Park District Executive Director Rome Frerich says this is a day-by-day -day process to fully restore the parks. The exact cost of damage is unknown, but a claims adjuster has visited the site. Trees are not covered under our, underneath our insurance policy. So any tree that did not hit any structure, um, we're just doing that ourselves. Something else not covered by insurance, the massive amount of overtime hours. Frerich says reserve funds will be used to pay the crews working extended shifts to clear debris. You know, when we helped Central Services last week, we were working 12-hour days. I knocked that back to 10-hour days, so the guys are just getting worn out already. As of Wednesday, five parks have been cleared, but all of them remain closed. Frerich says his biggest goal is restoring the parks so residents can enjoy them and create memories, much like the Hermans did years ago. It's just going to take a long time to get these parks back into the shape that they were before the storm hit. Moving forward, Frerich says there will be a press release on Friday with a list of parks that will be open for public use on the weekend. Until then, he's asking the community to stay out of the parks while crews work to repair the grounds. Reporting live from Madison Park, David Amelotti, KHQA News.